Today's video, we're going to be checking out this cute little devil. Oh, and his buddy Abe Sapien. That's because in this review, we're going to be having a look at the Funko Hellboy comic series. This is Hellboy and Abe Sapien vinyl collectible figures. Figured with the new Hellboy trailer hitting the interweb, it would be a fine time, a fine time indeed, to have a look at these two vinyl figures from the folks over at Funko. They are roughly about the same height, so I'm really only going to take the measurements for Hellboy. I'm sorry, Abe Sapien. Hellboy stands, and to that extent, Abe Sapien would be roughly about the same. The figures are 4.7 inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be just about 12, just shy of 12 centimeters, 11.9 actually, exactly. Have you guys had a chance to watch the new Hellboy trailer starring David Harbour of Stranger Things? Let me know down below what you think of it. Actually, you know what? Not a bad looking movie. Part of me kind of feels like it does look a little like it's a direct to DVD movie, but it does look like it could be action packed. We're not going to talk too much about the movie. What we are going to talk about, however, is the display stands that come included with the figures. Now, I always like to check to see whether the figures could technically stand without their stands, and sure enough, yes, they can. Uh, but they do come included with their traditional, ever-reliable, clear display stands with one singular peg. You can also see that it uses the exact same peg from this stand to this stand. So, you know, if you wanted to mix and match them, you certainly could do that if you so wish. They don't really need their stands. I probably have said stands a whole ton of times just in the last few moments, but uh, they do come include with them nonetheless. I always like to still display them. Either way, the last thing I certainly would want is these to fall over on a shelf, so I'd like to just put them with their stands anyways, and I promise that's the last time I'll say stands. Stands. Let's have a look at the figures. Why don't we first have a look at Hellboy? He looks awesome. Now, this one is based on its comic appearances. To some extent, it's also the same carried over designs that we would see also from the Ron Perlman uh, Hellboys, both one and the second one, the Golden Army. And uh, again, this is kind of a more comic rooted inspiration for this particular vinyl. Uh, he does have all the trademark items that one would expect to find from uh, Hellboy, of course, the bald top, the little ponytail there on the back, and big honking pork chop sideburns. Look at the size of these on either side of his head. He's got a little little beard happening, a little goatee happening right down below there as well. I like the face that they've given him as well. This here obviously is sculpted. This obviously here are also sculpted, but you can see that they've also put the little cracks there on the sanded down horn there on Hellboy's gr non grown out horns. The eyes are very nicely piercing in yellow, which you got the outlining there in the black. A nice bold panel lining certainly goes a long way to make this figure stand out. Of course, he stands out also as well for the fact that he's got this really nice red color. As we carry our journey down and further examine this figure, you can see that he's also got his little trench coat happening right there. A nice mix of beiges with some browns there on the shoulder areas. He's also got the little patch there on his shoulder. And of course, the big whamma jamma uh, fist that he's got on the one side there. The other hand does not have that. And he's got a little tail there happening as well. Some nice little musculature that they've added in there. No, you can't remove the jacket. Um, in fact, it's sculpted right to his torso, so you wouldn't even be able to peel it away if you wanted to anyways. He's got his little belt, he's got some pants, because of course Hellboy still has to be decent. Even though he's walking outside looking like this anyways, he's probably going to draw a lot of attention to himself. Posability on this guy, his head rotates all the way around, and that's all you're really going to get. It would have been nice also if he had come included with his trusty handgun pistol, but nonetheless, he doesn't unfortunately come with that. What he does come with, though, is a big giant head, smaller body, but that's what we would have come to expect now with the vinyl figures. All around, really happy with how Hellboy looked. 
I'm hoping that we will also get ourselves some movie tie-in Hellboy figures too, some vinyl figures that is. Up to Abe Sapien, he steps up to plate and we can have a look at this character. A nice actually contrast of colors. If you were going to a convenience store picking yourself up a tall, cool, icy, this would be the cherry, this would be the blue raspberry. Which would you usually go with? I would mix the two, or often I would almost go with the blue raspberry, I think nine times out of 10. Why are we talking about ices? We should be talking about Abe Sapien. So let's talk about that right now. He's got his little fins sticking out from the back of his head. They're not quite on the back of his head, sort of more halfway cut from the front to the back. It's about just past the middle mark. He has these little fins sticking out, which also jet out from the underside of his head. A nice gilly looking Abe Sapien. Also, he's got the little fins there on the sides of his arms. He looks like he's a little bit more broader torsoed, but I think it's just because he's not wearing the jacket that his partner in crime, Hellboy, would be sporting here. They do, however, share similar belts there in the brown with the little red marking there on the front. A very muscular looking Abe Sapien as well. Nothing really whole happening on the back there. Whole happening, whole happening on the back there. It is just blank. They didn't put any printing or anything on there. Hey, he's also got some fins down below there as well. I'm really, I'm really listing all the obvious things that if you are watching things, you could probably see for yourself, but feel the need also just to point out that they did put a lot of detailing into this. Um, I don't really know what's happened with some of the gills here. Um, I think what they've initially done was, I thought that this would be, they would have these little cut indentations here because the head would swivel, but really the head swivels way down here. I'm not really sure why it has to be connected the way that it is. I guess it's just the way that they fit it into, my guess is, the body, the neck, and this part of the head is carried over for pretty much all the vinyl figures. It's really the top part here is what ends up being sculpted different or printed differently which would probably explain why the gills here kind of jump over the fence, if you will, and carry on down here. Possibility on Abe Sapien didn't mean to distort things by having him so upside down. His head rotates all the way around. At the very least, at the very least, I'm glad that they don't have ball-jointed heads. I'm not crazy about ball-jointed or uh, bobble heads. Let me just just rewind myself for a second here. I don't like bobble heads on these guys. I wish that they were all swiveled heads, but I think it's primarily the Marvel and the Star Wars stuff that has to have the the little spring in there. Personally speaking, I like the uh, the swiveled heads instead. But that's just my own personal preference. Um, yes, indeed, certainly some fine, fine-looking vinyl figures. Oh, hold on a second there. Let me just bring your head around there. There you go, Ape Sapien. You don't want to be looking way off to the distance. you got to focus your efforts on the viewing audience who are currently watching this review. Uh, both Hellboy and Ape Sapien, as they are sold collectively in a set, are available now in comic book stores, should you wish to pick them up. David Harbour, I'm sure, is going to make a fine Hellboy, but part of me is a little disappointed that Ron Perlman couldn't come back and reprise his role for a third Hellboy. He had done the job so well for the first two outings that continuing the role, it sort of feels empty without him. But I'm going to hold off my reservations of what I think for the movie until the movie comes out, and hopefully David Harbour will impress us. Maybe this will be the starting, the new dawning of a series of new Hellboy films, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I've always been a big fan of the Hellboy films. Even though this isn't characters pulled from the screen, these are characters pulled from the comic, the original comic Hellboy. Both of them look quite good. A nice contrasting of hot and cold colors are Hellboy here in Abe Sapien. Like I said, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, this two-pack is currently now available in comic book stores. Price point, I think initially I had quoted around $14 to $15. Vinyls are actually a little bit more than that, so you can call me a bit of a fire, a fibber face, pants on fire, Mr. Old Liar over here. Uh, actually, the vinyls are closer, I think, to about $20, just in case you were looking for these and wanted to grab these for yourself. I've always been a bigger fan of vinyls. You know me. I prefer vinyls over the pop vinyl figures any day of the week, except for Tuesday, and Tuesday is Spaghetti Day. That has nothing to really do with anything else, but I just felt the need to tell you that that is Spaghetti Day. Parmesan cheese. 
If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, would you believe that I think we're coming up to about 8,000 videos on this channel? Let's just, just sit in for a second. I let that sit in periodically as I'm certainly recording this content for you guys. I think we are sitting at around, I might even be wrong by that, but I think we're about 8,000 videos. Are you new to this channel? Are you, is this really your first video watching of this channel? Let me know down below. If you are somebody who's been a regular and maybe not has necessarily watched all 8,000 videos or whatever that number may be right now, let me know also down below in the comments section. More videos will be coming your way. So as always, thanks for watching as you always do, guys. And I'll see you next time.